me the Addy, I pull up. They thought I was lacking, I stood up. Reloaded like Tony, I'm too much. I don't have it in me to give up. I won't ever stop cause I'm too clutch. You get in the way and get hit up. I go to the pump and I fill up. No drilling, just getting my skill up. Hey. Porn drains your sexual energy, which is your orange chakra. And this is why it's orange. Sexual energy takes over the mind and influences your body. This is why it's the most potent emotion the human can feel. It is symbolized as the serpent tempting you to eat the fruit because it's tempting you to release your sacred fluids. Your sexual fluids have a strong energy behind them and this energy can create a whole new human being. So imagine how powerful that is if you retained it. We become mentally, physically and spiritually stronger by holding this fluid. This is why it's free because it makes you weak. You are the product. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sin Tech, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most I don't woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it looks like out here real quick, you know what I'm saying? You know, the sun is up, the sun is shining. Listen, bruh, we working. We ain't reclining, you know what I mean? Look at that. You know what I mean? We ain't taking steps back. Look at that. You know what I mean? We ain't receding. Look at that. You know, we receiving. We ain't receding. We moving forward, bruh, no matter what. You know what I mean? Can't nothing stop us. Can't nothing stumble us. Can't nothing mumble us. And listen, man, can't nothing humble us. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that can humble us is the most high. It's the only spirit. You know what I'm saying? But everything else, bro, we ain't trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they trying to do out here, bro. They trying to use dark things to humble you. You know what I'm saying? And if you allowing darkness to humble you, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's the wrong hum that's the that's the wrong type of humbling you need. Because you're gonna find yourself continuing to need that humbling you know because of what you're doing you know what i mean so you got to understand that message bro shout out to no fat club for posting that too you know what i'm saying because what we got to understand is that we are the product just like they said you know what i'm saying we are the product they need us you know what i'm saying for those clicks they need us for those views they need us for our energy they need us for our money. They need us for our time because they get paid off of it. They come up off of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people got it so messed up because they like, well, I mean, it's for free, so you know, yeah, it's it's you that's what you that's that's what they want you to think. You know what I'm saying? Because just because you're not having to pay nothing, you know, or cough up anything, they want you to think that it's for free. No. But you know, you 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 paying spiritually, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You 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 paying physically with, with your health. You know what I'm saying? Your mental health. You paying with your time, bruh. You know what I mean? You paying with how addicted you are to this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you are the product. And the more that you keep clicking on it, they get paid. The more you even visit to uh, visit the site, bro. Don't you know that they calculate and get paid? Just off you visiting the sites, bro. You don't have to buy nothing. You know what I mean? If you think about it, right? You think about the Fire Stick, bro. And all of these apps, you know what I'm saying? That's on the Fire Stick that you could get for free. You know what I'm saying? You think about it. Tubi for free. Pluto for free. They got this free movie app. That free movie app is because they get paid off, off of the downloads. They get paid off of the clicks. They get paid off of the views. You know what I'm saying? So it actually isn't free. You know what I'm saying? Because they still making something behind that. It's the same with pornography, bro. You know what I'm saying? So every time you visit these sites, bro, they gaining something from that. So that makes you the product. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they making and they and they making dough off of you. You know what I'm saying? So what do that make you, bro? That makes you the product. They making money off of you. There's people that pay them every time you visit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you giving away your secret sauce, bro. This is the sauce that make you. You know what I'm saying? This is the sauce that can make someone else. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know that this sacred sauce 
can cure a lot of things, not only in your body, but when you even put it in women. You know what I'm saying? You know, our secret sauce is an antidepressant. How many women do you know, especially when they get of age? You know what I'm saying? Or, or middle age that got all of these antidepressant pills, bro. And we got that in our semen, bro. Along with the vitamins and nutrients, bro. So you got to understand, bro, like we definitely are the product and this definitely is our sacred sauce, bro, that's, that, that connect us more spiritually, that connect us more physically, that connect our emotions, bro. You know what I'm saying? That has our mental capacity getting going to the next level now. You know what I'm saying? But everybody that's wasting away their energy, look at them, bro, they all out of whack. You know what I'm saying? Because they releasing way too much on a daily basis, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they can never rack up on their secret sauce, bro. You know what I'm saying? We can relapse once a week and we'll still be in a better position than the average man out here. And that's sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's holding a lot of guys back from getting to their full potential. You know, it's holding a lot of men back from staying on their purpose. It's holding a lot of men back from gaining a relation in a relationship with the most high. You know, it's gain it's, it's holding a lot of men back spiritually, bro. You know what I'm saying? To where every time they continue to feed this beast, feed this demon, it's like you closing off a door in your mind that, you know, when that door opens, you know what I'm saying? That's where your ideas is coming from. That's where your creation is coming from. You know what I'm saying? That's where your, your thought process is coming from that put, that'll put you on a different level. See, but we close those doors off the more that we continue to release our life force energy, bro. We close those doors off. You know what I'm saying? On top of the blessings that we close off too by watching filthy things and putting those things in our mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because now, you know, we have, we, we affected the Holy Spirit that we need to see. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we make it now, we making our vessels unclean. We making our temple unclean. We making our mind unclean. And the only thing is you thinking about is that thing. You thinking about that porn, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they coming up off of it, bro. When, when in all actuality, bro, it's because you don't see yourself as the product. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I had to show y'all that message because it's real gems in there. And when you see yourself as the product, you're not going to sell yourself short through pornography. You're not going to sell yourself short through just any woman. You're not going to sell yourself short through this demonic matrix that's out here. You're not going to sell yourself short because you know you're the product. And, you know, that's why so many people that's rebellion against this, this government right now. Because now it's more and more people waking up, waking up, bro. It's not about color, race, gender, all of that stuff. It's people that are starting to realize that they are the product. It's people that are starting to realize that this government need us. You know what I'm saying? That they need our energy. They need us working. You know what I'm saying? They need us. They, they, don't, they, they, they even eat off of us fighting. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... When you wake up to that, bro, and then you see what they actually doing with playing in our face and giving our money away and not taking care of home, it's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, now you realize, like, listen, bro, they don't care about us. You know what I'm saying? Just like porn, just like these porn websites, bro, they don't care about us. We waking up in so many ways, even with the food industry, they don't care about us, bro. You know what I'm saying? But again, it always go back to scripture when the most high tell us that curse be the man that trusted the man and make flesh his arm and, and whose heart departeth from the most high. That's why we got to make sure our heart do not depart from the most high. Because if your heart is departing from the most high, then what you leaning on? You leaning on Satan. You leaning on man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you start to lean on this world, bruh. And the most, I don't want you to lean on that. You know what I'm saying? Because all you're going to do is just keep getting taken advantage of, bruh, and selling yourself short. You know what I'm saying? All because you don't know that you a product, bruh. You, don't you know you a product of the most high? You know what I'm saying? 
you're not just something that's just wrapped up and thrown on the shelf, bro. You you are a product of the Most High, and the Most High demands that we be treated like that, that we be treated like a product of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot of people that don't realize, bro, for how they treated us black people, how they treated the real Israel, how they treated us, bro, they gonna have to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have to pay for that, bro. And they paying for it already, bro. This country is paying for it already. You know what I'm saying? Other, other, other nations paying for it already for how they treated us around the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? People starting to wake up, man. And it's a, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. That's why I told y'all the other day, bro. It ain't no need to fear. You know what I'm saying? When you know that you're doing the right thing, bro. When you know who you are right now. You know what I'm saying? And you embracing that. You know, you following the word. You doing what you are told. You staying obedient. Listen, bro. We got peace. <laughs> why y'all think y'all see me so consistent, bro? Consistent as heck, bro. That's, I'm, I'm, you know? Because I'm locked in, bro, and I and I and I intend on staying that way, bro. No matter what I go through, bro. You know what I'm saying? No matter what we go through, bro, we could complain about it. You know what I'm saying? We could we could feel some type of way about it, but no matter what, we gonna get up and do our thing. We get over it quick. You know what I'm saying? Because we not we we not like everybody else, bro. A lot of people, bro, they releasing so much of their energy and they again they emotions is all over the place. That they let that, you know, control them. You know, just like they said in the clip, bro. It's like, you know, like you become, you really do become a puppet out here when you releasing your life force energy and you become dependent on this world. You become dependent on darkness. You you become dependent on Satan. So guess what? You relinquishing all of your power. And, and guess what, bro? They going to play with you. You know what I'm saying? And you going to play with yourself at the same time, bro. You know, literally, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you playing with everything about you that matters. You playing with everything about you that's important. You playing with everything about you that could have got you to the next level. That could be changing generational curses. Could be changing the dynamic of your family. Could be changing your health in a positive way. Could be changing your mentality in a positive way. But you want to keep playing, bro. You want to keep playing, bro. So we got to stop this, man. We just got to, we got to stop it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, 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 is deeper than what we think. You know what I'm saying? And then when you quicker to realize it, bro, you're not going to, listen, I'm telling you, bro, you're not going to sell yourself short, bro. You're just not going to give it up. You know what I'm saying? And that's all the most high wanted us to realize, bro. It's like, you got to know what you have. You got to know how sacred you know, your, your, your semen is, you got to know how sacred your spirit is. You got to know how sacred, bro, and how special you are. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is just so spiritual right now. And listen, bro, that's what they trying to attack our spirit. They want to bring our spirit extra low through using lust, through using technology. You know what I'm saying? They want us out here low confidence. They want us out here unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? They want us out here with no belief, no faith, no morals, nothing, bro. Because then as we as as we continue to live like that, all we doing is attaching the strings. You know what I'm saying? It's like you putting on your own handcuffs, like the police like throwing you some handcuffs telling you to put them on because through all of the things of this world, you 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 pretty much putting yourself in bondage. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what messed me up so much, bro, because I was in bondage with that alcohol. You know what I'm saying? I was in bound I was in bondage with that cocaine. I was in bondage with that lust. I was in bondage through pornography. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was in bondage in some of these relationships to where I just felt like, yo, like I couldn't even flourish. You know what I'm saying? And be what I was destined to be because I was getting pulled in all these different, you know what I'm saying, just directions, and none of it felt adequate to where I was supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, and that's not a shot at the women, it's just like, you know, you just know, like, something always was calling me, but when you do the things of this world, and when you infect it by darkness and all of that, it just muffles that call, it muffles the most high, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like you mu not muffle the most high, you muffle the Holy Spirit that's trying to teach you, trying to talk to you, trying to guide you. And that's what that's what that's why we had to pull away from all of these things. That's what the most high trying to get us up out of that. You know what I'm saying? So we got to continue to work, bro. We got to continue to labor to stay because as you can tell, bro, they not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Muzz got to get that through they thick skull, bro. I always got to throw that in there, bro, because my skull was so thick. You know what I mean? My skull was so thick. I was so hard-headed, bro. But understand, bro, it's not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That's like people like thinking like they got somebody beat when they when 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 like and then they and they choose to stop working. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like the, you woke up today, bro. <laughs> you woke up. You still living. The most high put breath in your lungs. So how do you think that you won? The most high put breath in your lungs. So how do you think that you won? Like, yeah, you woke you you woke up to a blessing that you woke up. But don't think that it's the end of the game, bro, because they not going to stop. The Satan won't stop. The attacks won't stop. The urges won't stop. Demonic energy won't stop. The government won't stop. You know what I'm saying? These succubus won't stop. The Jezebel won't stop. Evil won't stop. None of it will stop, bro. So why do you think that you should stop working? Why do you think that you should be comfortable? Why do you think that you don't need the most high? Why do you think you don't need to follow no law, statutes, and commandments and stay obedient? Why? You know what I'm saying? When it's evil lurking at all times. All times, bro. Stuff don't go away. You know what I'm saying? It don't go away. A lot of this stuff we don't even realize. A lot of it be in our mind already. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't realize them old habits, some of them old ways. You know what I'm saying? It's sitting dormant, waiting for you to just crack that door open again. Come on, crack that door open. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it need. And all you, what you got to understand is that, bro, when you let demons back in, they don't come back with just one. You know what I'm saying? Demons come back with two, three, four, five, six more to try to infect you. You know what I'm saying? Because the de they don't want to fail like they did the first time. You know what I'm saying? So any weakness that you have is going to be is going to is, is, is going to be targeted. So that's why we work on so many things, bro. And that's why we can't think that we just got it in the bag. That's why we can't think that we know enough. You know what I'm saying? That's why we can't think that, oh, you know what I'm saying? That I don't I don't need to do nothing else. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, as long as there's breath and air in your lungs, bro. As long as the most high continue to wake you up, you are in the game. You know what I'm saying? Your number don't get called and you go out into the game and then you not play. You know what I'm saying? You not protect yourself. That's how you get hurt. You know what I'm saying? What my old football coach used to tell me, he like, Jay, you know what I'm saying? When you, you, you need to run hard, bro. Because if when, you know, because I played running back, bro, and quarterback. So he like, bro, you can't, you know, when you get out, like, bro, you got to, you got to run hard, bro, or you're going to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that that's life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't just get out on this field and think that you could hot dog it and half ass it, bro, because the likelihood of you stumbling, the likelihood of you getting hurt, you know what I'm saying, is, is very high. If you if you not, you know, strong in this faith, if you're not rooted in this truth, if you don't know who you are, if you're not working, if you're not following the laws, bro, the likelihood of you getting hurt, it just keep going up, more up, more up and up, bro. You know, because you want to be out here engaging in a lot of these things, bro. You know what I'm saying? So these things out here ain't meant to protect you. It's actually meant to make you more weak, which would make you an easy target. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to do nothing that's going to make me an easy target because I know that there's a lot of wolves out here. I know it's a lot of predators out here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be, you got to understand, bro. It's like, you know, you got, you got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready, bro. You can't be out there. Would you, would you go to the Sahara out there lacking? You know what I'm saying? You know? 
Would you go out there lacking, bro? Would you go out to the jungle lacking? You know what I mean? When you know that's what's out there, when you got all these serpents, all of these savages, you know what I'm saying? All of these entities, you got all of this stuff out here lurking and you want to come out here lacking. But, what? It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? So, any way that you could get better, bro, get better. You know what I'm saying? And do it. Don't think, don't think that, oh, you know what I'm saying? You got time to take days off and all of that other stuff, bro. It's always something to work on. No matter what. No matter if it's mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. It's always something to work on, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm like starting to realize that more and more, bro. Every time that I think that I could take a break, bro. It's always more work to do. It's always something calling me. There's always an area that's lacking. It's not just with this journey, bro. To tell you the truth, bro, this journey is becoming the least of my problems, bro. The least. The most I wanted my eyes open. It's so it's it's a lot of stuff out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? And if I don't stay locked in with the most high, bro, you know, it, you, you ain't gonna see me much longer. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand what's happening, bro. You know, for real, for real, man. And don't slip, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.